I'm going to read from this book. I don't know if Catherine Hastings is still here. She published it, or is here at the moment. It's called Ash on an Old Man's Sleeve, which is um, a phrase from T.S. Eliot. I'm going to read Django. Everybody know who Django Reinhardt was? Yes. Bob, you know, certainly. Great gypsy guitarist. Anyway, Django. And one of the things about this poem, you want to write a poem describing somebody, but you also want to write a poem describing how that somebody feels. And this person is a performer. How do you put something on paper that feels like a performance. See what you think. Django. Everything I say about him in the poem is true. He was illiterate, etc. I'm not making anything up. Django. The illiterate, the illiterate professor, professor speaks with his guitar, speaks with his guitar. He is a dark gypsy. He is a dark gypsy with mustache and sly smile, with mustache and sly smile. He is speaking farum, farum. He is speaking farum, farum on a subject of the most, on a subject of the most immense, immediate, life-changing, immense, immediate, life-changing interest interest and his chords tell us and his chords tell us what we can do what we can do what we can do what we can do improv improves sings the guitar improv improves sings the guitar to a classroom masquerading to a classroom masquerading as a nightclub as a nightclub or a concert hall or a concert hall the professor the professor ratatats and riddles ratatats and riddles roars and rambles roars and rambles tells us with superb intelligence tells us with superb intelligence of Charlie Parker of Charlie Parker and of wild and of dark, gypsy, gypsy, ways, ways. That's Django. I'm going to read another and then a third. I don't want to give you too much because you're going to get a program from us around 5.30. But this is called Superstitions. Take someone, excuse me, let me try that one again. Take something everyone naturally likes to do. Call it a sin and you're in business. I felt a scream start behind my head. He saw her staring at him. Once I had a tall father, I climbed him like a tree. The man drew back for a moment. God, draw me a poem. She held him the way a bucket holds water. Before the water went away, I made a bowl shaped like a wave. I made a funny face and said, boo. When I talk to myself, there are always two listeners. She said, I talk, talk, talk as the wanderer walks, walks, walks. How exquisite it is to have freshly clean teeth. She bit his finger, a love bite that excited him. The little junk birds peck at bits of foil. They are suddenly in the sky who a moment ago the last book I will ever read will have a cover like that. Her look pierced him. You read me like a book. Todo juguete tiene derecho a romperse. Every toy has the right to break. Antonio Porcio. Every toy has this right to be broken, to break itself. Every toy a child plays with 
can break by right the only right a toy possesses possessed by children boys or girls a toy can break Every toy has this right. Todo juguete tiene derecho a romperse. Little things that I do move me through day. Just stuff that accrues. It wouldn't matter much if it were never done. Who would know but I? Yet it binds and nags like a nourishing, angry, lovely wife superstition to stand beyond I went this is what I think is to the gypsy true this is what is had my fortune you stand red in that doorway gypsy says though you have been dead blood for 14 years. Death. I don't believe in ghosts. It's in the cards. Here, I said, is the abyss. How long I got between the real. She said, and the imagined. I wouldn't plan on any social events. Here. After is superstition Thursday. You think that you can keep your poems separate from your life, but your poems spring from your life as your life springs from your poems. If you have committed murder in your poems, then you have committed murder in your heart. With the flame of the fire and the tablet of crystal, I looked into my heart and found the salamander lacuna, lifting lacuna, my, the great flood of the Juju. He asked me whether I had read his book yet, wanting to be on my radio show. When I said no, he talked about my health. Busy people like yourself doing wonderful things all the time overextend themselves and then suddenly wham you take care of yourself and I understood that each word each word was a wish for my death words for sailor Frank Deco so many tears in Santa Rosa so much wailing where my friends are. It's like those towns by the sea when the boats don't come back and the women gather to show their suffering to one another. Death and its nearness causes this rain which grows only flowers of grief. Men don't come back and the women who love them know it. I'm going to conclude my little section here with a poem called Coda. And again, it's Catherine Izzy. And it's the last poem of this really beautiful little book, which is for sale, which Catherine's Word Temple Press published. Coda. Loved rivers winding, suns failing, all falls into the sea, and the speech of lovers, garlands of praise, whatever sweetness life brings, lovers who cannot tell their love, in a flash all yearnings turn, and she for whom our speech is present smiles in the morning sun for only a moment, till morning turns moaningly to morning, she whose body moves with grace amid the vanishing grass or as she dries her hair or stares at the early morning light she who is mistress mother wife touches us and tells the sweet speech of what is 
As the morning fails, as the sun fails, as all falls, as all falls.